I'm creating this screencast so that you can convert a WMA file into an MP3 using free software, um, iTunes 9, uh, to be ready for podcast uh, publishing. First, uh, we'll find a WMA file I have here in my, my, my music folder and have iTunes. If you don't have iTunes, you can find it at apple.com slash downloads and download it here if you meet the minimum requirements and uh, so I'm going to just select this Windows Media file and just drag it into the folder the music folder and uh, choose to convert it you'll see iTunes automatically converts a WMA song to MP3 format. Your default settings will be much higher than uh, necessary for podcasting, so I'm going to also show you the settings that I use for um, our 30 to 40 minute recordings to keep them under 10 megabytes. That's my goal. So that people can still record Still can, still can download them uh, while they're anywhere. I will look at the preferences. And if you see here under general um, import settings, I have custom selected, which shows 64 kilobits per second, sample rate of 22. 0.050 kilohertz, and I choose mono, which makes it half the size. Otherwise, it would be um, almost 20 megabytes for this size file. And both these boxes are checked. The good thing about that is uh, this one that I just imported, it put in that format. If you hadn't set that before, then it would be much larger. And then if that were the case, after you change the settings, you can select this and under advanced create mp3 version will apply the new settings and you'll have a second copy once you have that file that's under 10 megabytes then you can take this file assuming that the file name is done properly and drag it to your desktop This file is now something that you can email or uh, put up on a server. Uh, but in the case of who I'm making the screencast for, um, you can just throw it into an email and send it to me or upload it to my, my server. Thanks a lot. I hope this was helpful.